What's up YouTube, welcome back to TV Box Top Reviews. On today's video, Magic C takes the spotlight with the release of their latest model, the Magic C N6 Plus. This model runs on the Amlogic S922X CPU on 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Guys, I'm really excited about this box because Magic C is one of my favorite developers and their models are usually of a high quality and delivers great performance to their users. So the N6 Plus falls into that high-end category and expectations are high for this model. So after the break, I will put it to the test and let's see if the N6 Plus has what it takes. So stay tuned, a full review is up next. So I'm back and thanks for staying with us. So this is the box that it's packed and shipped in. It's a durable box and well labeled with some specs printed to the back. It says that the operating system is Android 9. The CPU is the Amlogic S922X Cortex A73 plus the Cortex A53 processor. The GPU is the Marley G52 MP6. It has 4GB of DDR4 RAM, 128GB of internal storage, dual band Wi Fi, USB 3.0 port, Bluetooth 4.1, and it has a gigabit LAN port. So without further ado, I'll do a quick unboxing. So this is what's inside the box. You got the TV box itself. A G10 Air Mouse with voice command features which is great. You got one HDMI cable. A 12V 1.5A DC power adapter one external antenna, and the final item is this user's manual. And now a quick look at its design and its input-output peripherals. The body is made of plastic with a carbon fiber surface with a Magic C logo printed to the top. To the rear of the box, you have one HDMI port, one USB 2.0 port, one gigabit LAN port, one optical audio port, one audio video port, and a DC power input jack. To one side, you have two USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD card reader, and an external antenna. It's blank on the other side. To the front, you have an LED clock display, and below the box, you have lots of ventilation holes. I will now set it up on my 4K TV and capture card and continue. So I'm back and I'm all connected. And when you power on the box, you have the Magic C logo animation for just a few seconds. Then you're taken to the launcher. So this is the 2020 Magic C launcher and it's made of a semi-transparent design with a main panel to the bottom and the ability to add shortcuts to the top. The launcher comes with a navigation bar and no notifications drop down bar to the top and it has a one-click system cleanup button for clearing apps running in the background. This firmware was developed on Android 9 Pi operating system and it has the following features. On the Droid settings. You have 4K display resolution up to 2160p at 60Hz. Dolby Vision with the option to set the priority between video and graphics. You have HDR display settings. Audio options to switch between HDMI and optical audio output. And CEC control settings. There is a special settings called Magic C settings and in this section you have a root switch feature. You have hardware monitor settings and when you enable these settings there is the appearance of a notifications bar. Also in this section you have a built in screen rotation feature. And finally, under device preferences, you have your core system settings and in this section under sound settings, you have your Dolby and DTS audio options. So that's it for the settings. In the app section, they have pre-installed the following. The Air Screen app, Chrome browser, File browser, Miracast, Movie player, MX player, 
Netflix, the Google Play Store, a wallpaper app, and YouTube. I will now install some additional apps needed to complete my review and continue. So I've installed all the apps required to complete my review. And first I'll check the root state of the box. The root checker app shows the box is rooted running on Android 9 operating system. This is great for apps that require root access to work and for apps that require your box not to be rooted, you can use the root switch to turn it off. And next, I show its DRM information. The Magic CN6 Plus has Cocoa Wideband Level 3 and no HDCP protection. This means that premium streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime Video will only show in basic 480p quality. And now, a quick look at its system and hardware information. It shows that the model is the N6 Plus. It has 4GB of RAM which is DDR4 memory and it also shows the remainder of the 128GB of internal storage. The Bluetooth version of this box is 4.1 which is indicated by the 4 Plus below here. The box runs on a dual CPU hexa-core 64-bit configuration in 32-bit mode, a dual-core Cortex-A53 running at 1.8 GHz and a quad-core Cortex-A73 running at 1.7 GHz with a maximum CPU clock speed of 1.8 GHz with support for only 32-bit ABIs. The display and graphics is powered by the Mali G52 MP6 GPU with a refresh rate of 60Hz and OpenGL ES version 3.2 which is ideal for gaming. You have dual band Wi-Fi support and here it shows the 5GHz band is supported. The operating system is Android 9 Pi and again it shows that the box is rooted. The thermal information shows temperatures holding steady between 40 and 60 degrees Celsius and I will monitor its levels during 3D gaming. The box has a huge list of codecs for playing 4K videos and digital audio formats such as H265 HEVC, H264, Dolby Vision and VP90 coding. And that's it for system and hardware information and let's now take a look at some benchmarks and where it fits on the rankings chart. So first. To begin this segment, I have the results of the RAM copy speed and the internal storage read and write speeds. The Magic C N6 Plus has a RAM copy speed of 5675 megabytes per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 131 megabytes per second and a write speed of 113. These scores are fantastic and will all go well for this box. Next, I have the results of the dual Wi-Fi bands and the LAN speed test. The results show that on a 230 megabits per second connection, the box has maximum download and upload speeds on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band and on the LAN port. The 2.4 GHz band also scored high around 100 megabits per second, but it fell below by 52% of the maximum speed of the connection. Now I show the results of the Antutu benchmark, the score that determines where the box places on the rank chart. The Magic C N6 Plus got a score of 118,339. This is a high score, but it's left to see where it places on the chart. And now, I show the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, the benchmark that's directly related to the performance of the Amlogic S922X Hexacore CPU. And the CPU in this box got a score of 1,184 single core and 3,295 multi core. Again, this is a high score, but with the CPU clocked at 1.8 GHz, we'll just have to wait and see where it places on the chart. And the final benchmarks are the results of the 3 Mark Gamers Bench GPU benchmark, which relates to the performance of the Mali G52 MP6 graphics processor. The Magic C N6 Plus maxed out in the iStorm Extreme benchmark and got a score of 1536 in the Slingshot benchmark. These scores are great and we will see it in action in the gaming segment. So after updating the scores, the Magic C N6 Plus took position number 6 in reference to N22 scores, placing it among the top 10 TV boxes for 2020 on my chart. You can view this chart on my website in full spreadsheet format where you can interact with it and compare scores. See the link in the description below this video. So this segment focuses on the entertainment features of the box. And I will first start with the use of alternative launchers and live wallpapers. I installed the ADW Launcher 2 alternative launcher together with a live wallpaper called the Real Aquarium Free Live Wallpaper. They both work great with all features working.
on the default launcher. You also have the option to change wallpapers. However, live wallpapers don't work. Moving on to streaming movies and TV shows. The box comes pre-installed with Netflix and I installed Amazon Prime Video from the Play Store. Netflix and Amazon Prime Video shows in basic 480p quality due to limited DRM support. But I noticed a change in Amazon Prime Video where they have opened their service so you can view more movies outside of the US region. This is a great move by Amazon as it allows users outside of the US to view more movies and TV shows during the pandemic. For those interested in YouTube, YouTube comes pre-installed on the box and it's the Android TV version and it plays in 4K quality. And now, I will play my list of 4K video samples in HDR 10-bit format using the VLC player. And only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Mateo Loof prizing presence on the bench as well. Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in...
Most of the videos played really well with the exception of the jellyfish video at 400 megabits per second bitrate that froze up and failed to play. I now have the digital audio test. In this test, I have the Magic CN6 Plus connected to a receiver in HDMI audio pass-through configuration and I will test for high-res audio, Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD, and various DTS audio formats. Front left, front right, center, back left, back right. Executioners, judges. Welcome to the inside of your head. From this test, it shows that the box outputs Dolby Atmos and various DTS audio formats. However, the box did not output high res audio and Dolby True HD. I now switch to the optical audio SPDIF port. Front left, front right, center, back left, back right. still breathing.
The results were the same. There was Dolby Atmos DTS audio with no high-res audio or Dolby True HD. For the final demonstration, I will put the GPU to the test and play some Android games and test for gamepad key mapping capability. Airdrop has been delivered.
Logic C N6 Plus is a powerful gaming TV box. It played every game with smooth graphics and in a high quality. Key mapping apps worked ok and there was no overheating. So there you have it. Magic C has done it again and delivered yet another great TV box. That's why Magic C is among the top developers in the industry because they always take the time to ensure that their TV boxes deliver quality, performance and a great user experience. The drawbacks of this box include the lack of DRM support to play Netflix and Amazon Prime Video in 4K quality and it does not have Dolby Audio True HD. So after a stellar performance like that, I highly recommend the Magic C N6 Plus as a great TV box to buy. So I've come to the end of my review. I hope you had a great time during this video as much as I enjoyed making it. The Magic C N6 Plus was provided by Gearbest.com and they are providing the lowest price for this model online. If you would like to get your hands on this model, show some support and use the link provided in the description area. Coupon codes will also be provided as soon as they become available. Thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell to be notified when I release a new video or do a giveaway. Stay safe during the pandemic and see you in the next one.